great wrestling, and we have it here today. Oh, a great hour of wrestling. You're going to be seeing Nightmare, Kenny Wayne, Mr. USA, Mr. Olympia, the Wild Samoans, Samoan, Samoan Coquina are here today, Ricky Gibson, the Coastal Connection, a great hour of wrestling. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now let's go to the ring for our first match. In the ring now, you see one of the Coastal Connection, Chuck Wilson, with his tag partner for today, will be Greg Cooley. And that music can only mean one thing, that the wild Samoans, Samu and Coquina, are on their way to the ring. And the, oh, look at that massive Coquina. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, the wild Samoans, one of the most awesome tag teams I've ever seen, Gino. And the match is underway. The bell has rung. What awesome looking wrestlers from Samoa, the wild Samoans, Coquina and Samu. Chris, I'll tell you what, these, these two guys have really made a big impression of, in this area with their wrestling ability. The size has nothing to do with the way they move. They are fast and very agile, and I think the wrestling fans out there will agree with me. And I'll agree with you too, Gino. This is going to be an exciting match. I'll guarantee you, Chuck Wilson, one of the most popular wrestlers here at World Organization Wrestling, teaming with a great young wrestler, Greg Cooley. The match has begun. Cooley goes down. Mo over. Whoa! Great, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. star drag. Great. Greg Cooley's hot tonight, ladies and gentlemen. The crowd's appreciative to it. Sam is complaining that he pulled hair, and the crowd is letting the referee know right away he didn't pull no hair. I'll tell you what, this has started out to be a great match, and they haven't even really began yet. Tags off to Chuck Wilson. Wilson's in. Elbow to the arm. Chris him up, over. There goes Sam. That Wilson, he's really impressive. I've been looking at him the last few weeks, and, and he's going to go a long way in this business. He's probably one of the younger wrestlers to come with W.O.W., and he has come a long way in the last couple months. Th there's the famous, the famous double take. Oh, and Sam hits Coquina. A beautiful drop kick by Chuck Wilson. Beautiful. Now the Samoans going to think it over. You know, Gino, I think that, that uh, the Samoans come out here thinking they were going to just take charge here, and, and they got a little more than they, they bargained for with Chuck Wilson and Greg Cooley. I mean, you can't take these two boys lightly. They're a great, great tag team. You're absolutely right on that. And the young guys today are in better athletic condition than, than a lot of the wrestlers like myself years ago. Today they're moving a lot faster, a lot of uh, high aerial uh, bumps. Uh, They've got to be in condition, got to be in shape, chip top all the time. Cooley back, Sam Wu into the corner, across the ring. Whoa, back with a powerful kick, and Cooley goes down. Whoa, I heard that way over here. Oh, and a chop. Whoa. Tags off to Coquina. This tag team, no wonder they're one of the most feared combinations in professional wrestling. Oh, what a slam. Picks Cooley up. Another whoa. He's putting the full 400 pounds behind that. An elbow. Oh, Greg could have two. Count of two. Cooley kicks out. That Cooley, he's a great, great young wrestler. Okina pulls him up by the hair, backs him into the ropes. Oh. Thompson kicks, but these Samoans, they'll go to any length to win, and they're, they're just absolutely two of the most unorthodox wrestlers I've seen in a long time. They're out to totally destroy their teams. Both, both men are very vicious. They don't care what it takes to win a match, they're gonna do it. And some of the chops that they're laying in there, I can feel it when they lay them in. And you wrestling fans in Pascagoula, Mississippi, Saturday night, September 26th, don't forget, these wild Samoans will be there in person in a big tag match against Mr. USA and Mr. Olympia. Some double teaming there. Oh, a double elbow and Cooley's down. Oh, and a kick to the head by Samu. 
I don't know if there's anyone in the whole country that can stop these Samoans. Going up for the suplex and back down. Cooley hits the mat real hard. Wilson's over there. He's wanting in that ring pretty, pretty bad. There's Greg going for the tag. Nope. Cut short there. Well, another kick by Samu. That Samu is just one of the most awesome Samoan wrestlers I have ever seen. You can't count Cooley and Wilson out. They are fighters. They are in there all the time. And I think with the wrestling ability that they have, they haven't begun to really wrestle. There's Samu. Jumps over the top rope and hangs Cooley on the top rope. Ladies and gentlemen, did you see that? Well, that's something I've never seen before. What a maneuver. What a maneuver. I believe he should have covered him there, but what a maneuver. Oh, and a slam. In comes Coquina into the ropes. What's it going to... Oh, a head cut. Oh. They have dished it out to young Greg Cooley. Just kicks him. Oh, and a leg drop. Greg Cooley, Greg Cooley needs to tag out. He needs to get to his partner. That's quite obvious. He needs to, but you know, Samoans, besides being great professional wrestlers, they're smart. They know not to let Cooley into that other corner where there is a fresh Chuck Wilson waiting to, to get in this match. You're looking at two very seasoned professional wrestlers who've been all over the world, main events all over the world. And I, and I tell you, World Organization Wrestling, you know, quite frankly, is lucky to have, you know, great talent like this, Mr. USA, Mr. Olympia, Nightmare Kenny Wayne, Exotic Adrian Street, Bob Holly. From head to toe, the lineups that I've seen, and I've been out on the road for a couple of weeks to some live cards, you can't match these shows that you're seeing here anywhere in the country right now. Oh! And he gives him a back suplex on the floor. Wilson's over there. Now the, the uh, Coquina's coming to the floor. What are they going to do now? The referee is trying to get Wilson back to his corner. Lord. Get that in the ring. Rolls Cooley in the ring. Now Coquina has it by the hair. That mayor over us. Boy, I tell you what. How Greg Cooley's lasted this long is beyond me. And I guess that tells you, that shows you what the man has down beneath. He has the wrestling ability. It's just that he's, he's been pounced on. And I'll tell you, the Samoans aren't letting up. They're staying right there with him, staying with the holds, staying with the different maneuvers that they have that they know that they've had experience with that have beaten other teams, and they're staying with it. Referee checking there to see if it's a choke. The fans are claiming it's a choke. There, Greg. No, Greg's coming back. He's fighting back. The crowd's behind this Cooley 100%. He's fighting back. He's on his feet and an elbow to the midsection. Another one. Oh, and a headbutt. And Cooley goes back down. This Coquina is just an absolute giant. Just an absolute giant. Samu's over in the corner laughing, loving every minute of it. Tag out. Throw Cooley into the ropes. They come up with a double clothesline. And Cooley's down. I think that might be, oh. Oh, and a leg drop. What a massive leg drop. Look at the legs on that Samu. Greg Cooley's a great wrestler. I think he's just got at a disadvantage right now. He's been slammed, he's been clotheslined, and he's just in trouble. He really needs to tag out. Right, right, frankly, Gino, I'm not so sure there's a tag team in the country that can stop these Samoans. They're, oh, and a double headbutt. A double headbutt. And Cooley's up there, and he tags Chuck Wilson. There was a tag. The crowd's behind him, he rocked. He's rocking and sucking. A drop kick to Coquina. Cooley's watching their both. What game, young individuals. And the Samoan, oh, there went Cooley over the top rope. Now well, they got Chuck Wilson, a double headbutt. Oh, and he's down. Coquina pulls him up by the hair. Turns him around, gets him up on the shoulder. What now? Oh, a flying. Oh, vicious move, vicious. Oh, tuck his head off, what it did. There, Coquina goes to cover. Three, and your winner, ring the bell, the winner of this match, the Wild Samoan. And what a big win it was over Chuck Wilson, the young Greg Cooley. What an awesome team. We'll be right back after this word.
World Organizational Wrestling is on the road. Tuesday night, October 13th in the Monroe County Coliseum in Monroeville, Alabama. Monday night, October 12th in the Chanel Lee Stadium in Op. Saturday night, October 10th, Evergreen High School Gymnasium in Evergreen, Alabama. Friday night, October 9th, the Community Building in Daleville, Alabama. WOW heats up. Sunday night, October 4th at the Pensacola Municipal Auditorium. Saturday night, October 3rd in the Bayou Lavatry Community Center. And then Saturday night, September 26th, the Pascagoula, Mississippi National Guard Armory heats up with WOW action. AT&T is changing America's tune about calling far away. Let's call Bobby. Bobby, 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 Banana, Fanta, Bobby, B5, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Let's call Judy. Judy, Judy, Bobby, Banana, Fanta, Bobby, B5, Bobby. You miss so much. It's really quite easy to keep in touch. Just call off the weekend and nights after ten. And after you're done, you can do it again. So if you want to order this long distance plan, just pick up the phone and dial it like you can. Call toll free. Toll free, toll free, toll free, banana, banana, toll toll free, free. one 800 225 -2661. For Reach Out America, AT&T's weekend and night calling plan. You'll get an hour of calls across the country for $8. One more time. Make long calls or short calls, all with AT&T's quality. So phone 1-800-225-2661. And see how AT&T can change your tune about calling far away with Reach Out America. AT&T, the right choice. Wild man Don Fargo and Crazy Mike Diamond. And we have a piece of videotape we filmed with C.J. Whitmore that I want to show you right now, and then I'll come back and talk to you all about this. Here's a tape I want you to take special interest in. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are out of our studio setting. At this time, I've been invited to join Mike Diamond and Wild man Don Fargo at one of their local uh, establishments, one of their local hangouts. And this is quite a quite a classy place here, Don. Oh, yeah, this is one of the better clubs in Pensacola, man. Mike plays here quite a bit, you know. And uh, we enjoy it. We have a good time in there. They're all our friends. And uh, we just have a good time. And we're fixing to go inside. And Mike's going to do a few songs and have a good time in there, man. We do this quite a bit. You know, he travels around and does this besides wrestling. I'm not overdressed for this place, am I? <laughs> I think you'll fit in just right. I think everybody's going to like you inside here, we'll man. Take care. We'll fix yeah. it if you're overdressed. Okay, we'll let's go in. I have an interesting place here that you yeah, got. It sure is, man. It's great, I'll tell you. Okay. Wrestling fans, as you can see, we're inside the world-famous Cax Saloon. This is where Crazy Mike Diamond and Wild Man Don Fargo hang out in their leisure time. And I understand, uh, Wild Man, you do a little bartending on the part-time basis here. Yeah, when I ain't wrestling, I'm down here cast bartending. You know, this big man here, he's Robbo. He's the proprietor of this here nice nightclub. We come down here, I bartend, and Mike sings. We have a good time. They're all good people. This is a classy place, man. I'll tell you that. We have good times here. Okay, we're going to go up to the stage. Mike Diamond is up on stage with his wife, and we'll uh, find out. They say he can sing. We'll just have to have a listen and find out. Thank you. 
Before I get your comments, Mr. Fargo, about this videotape, Bob Holly, I've been wanting to ask you now hey, for a week. Minute. You don't You're talk a to great Bob Holly. You talk to me. Shut up! Now you fans have just seen the tape. That is the classy better places that me and Crazy Mike go to on our days off. Those are fancy places. I want to show Bob Holly how to live right how to go to those fancy places, how to live like we do. You know, I've watched Bob Hawley wrestle since I've been here. He is one great wrestler. He knows every move, every counter. He is fantastic. But the boy has one thing. He has too much heart. I want to take this heart away from him. I want to show him what it is to be a champion, because I once was. And you can't be a champion by being heart, all heart. You've got to get in there, and you've got to win. He got the belt. He got it the right way by wrestling. But I want him to keep this belt. And the only way he's going to keep it is to listen to me. This boy is good. He's young. He's good looking. And he's got finesse. And he knows how to handle himself to wrestle. But he's got to learn how to keep the championship. And I'm going to show him how to keep this championship. He's going to learn how to live right, how to train right, how to get in that ring and do everything right by my way of telling him because my experience and my knowledge will make this man stay a champion and become a more bigger champion than what he is. There are bigger, bigger things in this wrestling game than this. Well, it looks to me like there's a new allegiance. Bob Holly and Mr. Fargo will be right back after this word. World Organizational Wrestling with a Hot Night Plan, Saturday, September 26th, 8 p.m. at the Pascagoula, Mississippi National Guard Armory. It's a super main event four-man tag team match. The Wild Simons, Prince Samu, and Coquina versus Mr. USA and Ricky Gibson. WOW United States Champion Bob Holly takes on the Nightmare, Kenny Wayne. The Coastal Connection, Chuck Wilson and David Baxter versus Wild Man Don Fargo and Crazy Mike Diamond. Marvelous Marcel Pringle versus Cowboy Dennis Gale, plus other great matches on this card. It's wow action at its best. Don't miss it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the action starts at 8 o'clock tonight. That's 8 o'clock tonight, Pascagoula National Guard Armory, and in the main event, Prince Samu Kokina takes on Bob Sweet Tan and Ricky Gibson. That's sure to tear the house apart. Get down and get your tickets early. Prince Samu. First of all, I don't like you. I don't like the clothes you wear. I don't like the people in Florida. I don't like Florida. I came here to do one thing. Let's make a lot of money by beating people up, which me and Tiny can do very well, as you see. Telling you fellas in Pascagoula, it's going to be Thunderdome all over again. Four men enter, two men will leave, and we are the ones that will leave there. What do you want? Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Pascagoula, National Guard Armory. Demolition of the ride. Prince Samu Kokina will be in the ring against Ricky Gibson and Bob Sweetan. Don't forget, Nightmare Kenny Wayne will be in town. That's tonight. Tonight, hey, Wayne, I don't care who's there. Sweetan, eat your Wheaties, brother, because we're going down. We will retire you. We are putting you down. There you go again. I'm sick of you. Get away from me. I just want to tell you, Gibson, you little man, we're going to put you down. 
We're going to make we'll you... We'll see you tonight, think... fans. We'll see you tonight at the National Guard Armory. Okay, we're ready for our second big match of the day. We have the WOW U.S. Heavyweight Champion, Bob Holly, against Gene Hart. And, Gino, I don't understand what would make a man like Holly want to even be associated with someone as lunatic as this Fargo person. Well, it really surprises me. Bob Hawley was doing great. I mean, he just captured the belt. He was doing fantastic. And all of a sudden, the, the relationship with Don Fargo, I don't know how it came about exactly. I know that he's, he's under the guidance of Don Fargo. What a beautiful power slam. And that's what I mean right there. Holly doesn't need to cut corners to win these matches. And he let the man up right there. Don Fargo is there at ringside, and you can notice that he is telling Bob Holly every move to make. That's a suplex. Beautiful move. I just don't know what, what makes a man like Holly, who, had, who still does have a great future in professional wrestling, just resort to tactics like this. He didn't have to do that. He just doesn't have to do that. There's no reason for it. He's a good young athlete, a great wrestler. He's a champion. It proves it right there. Fargo didn't win him that championship belt. Oh, and a kick to the midsection. Fargo is definitely influencing him every move he makes. Every move that Bob Hawley makes, Don Fargo is coaching from the side. Well, I tell you, with Don Fargo there at ringside, that leaves that little bit of extra danger there at ringside. What a slam. Holly all over this young kid. And he kicks out. Holly's looking, I don't know, he's just changed totally inside and outside the ring. Fargo's like he's taken over his life. Well, the one thing I noticed about uh, Bob Holly, he's being more aggressive. He's not walking away, he's moving in. That's a good point, but he could do that without Don Fargo. Oh, and a beautiful backdra by young Gene Hart. Goes for the cover, count of one. You're not going to beat Holly that way. And kick to the midsection. Boy, the action's hot and heavy today here on World Organization Wrestling. There comes a... Wow, a tremendous slam. One thing for sure, Gene Hart is not going to quit. He's not a quitter. He'll just stay in there and he'll fight all the way. He's a good wrestler. He's had some impressive wins in the past. Oh, down on that knee. Down on that knee. Grabs a foot. Could it be going into the figure four? Yes, it is. He's got it on him. Holly's got the figure four on young Gene Hart. Ring the bell. His referee signals for the bell. Holly's won the match. He's not voluntarily getting out of that. It's an impressive win. I got to give him that. An impressive win for young Bob Holly here on World Organization Wrestling. The Mobile Area Chamber of Commerce recently announced an education package which is an action plan for the Mobile County Public Schools. This package is designed to assist the public schools in the area of planning, public relations, and grassroots support. This community will be no better than its schools. If we are to control our future, we've got to direct that future today. Please join us in supporting the Mobile County Public Schools. For the Chamber, I'm Ronnie Davis. If you can guess the secret of this beautiful diamond cameo pendant, you'll be eligible for a special publicity bonus. This exquisite cameo-style pendant features a genuine quarter-point diamond in a setting specially faceted to enhance its luster and magnify its visual impact. Do you think the diamond is the secret? No, that's not the secret. Guess again. Well, perhaps it's the magnificent 18-inch neck chain, entirely layered in genuine 14-karat gold. Now, watch closely. The secret is that this beautiful diamond cameo pendant contains a secret locket. And inside the locket is this beautiful quartz watch. How much is this beautiful diamond cameo pendant watch? Not hundreds of dollars, but only, are you ready? An astonishing $10 during this special publicity campaign. That's right, only $10. Here's the special publicity bonus I said you could get. If you phone for your diamond cameo style pendant right now, you can have this matching diamond cameo wristwatch for only $5.
just half price. To order, call toll-free 1-800-453-3303. That's 1-800-453-3303. Save COD charges by using your Visa or MasterCard or mail $10 to Diamond Cameo, P.O. Box 614, Mobile, Alabama. Or call now, 1-800-453-3303. Okay, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. And this music can only mean one thing. And the crowd's gone wild as they come into the arena area. Mr. USA, and one of the most popular wrestlers of all time, Mr. Olympia. And as they come into the ring, Killer Gaddafi and Lynn Austin go outside the ring. Talk about another top tag team combination here in World Organization Wrestling, Mr. USA and Mr. Olympia. This is going to be a top flight match right here. I guarantee you this is the main event anywhere. This Gaddafi is nothing to reckon with. Sometimes he sits back and you don't think he's going to do anything. But you get, what's he doing with the carpet? What, what, what is with the carpet? Well, it's a ritual. It's a ritual that he goes through before all his matches. But Mr. Olympia and Mr. USA are going to have none of that. I've seen Killer Gaddafi many times, and he always goes. He has to praise Allah, and he's going to do it before he wrestles. The referee is back. Whoa! And Mr. USA kicks the rug out. There, Mr. Olympia has it now, and Gaddafi is going crazy over here. Now Olympia has a rug down, and I guess he has a few worships of his own he's going to go through. Gaddafi is just, and he bails out. Olympia's going after him. Mr. USA from one side. Mr. Olympia throws him in the ring. And I think it's safe to say this match is finally underway. He throws Gaddafi in the corner. Hard comes off. Whoa. This Mr. Olympia, he's been around the world. Sold out more arenas than most wrestlers I can think of. And what a great pleasure it is to see him here on World Organization Wrestling. Mr. USA, absolutely the most popular wrestler here right now. In the ring now with Gaddafi, tags off to Olympia. Impressive looking tag team. They're working great together. Quick tag, and they got Gaddafi on his knees back in his own corner, wanting mercy. I don't think he's going to get very much mercy from the man he's wrestling right now. And wrestling fans, don't forget tonight in Pascagoula, Mississippi, at the National Guard Armory, the Wild Samoans, Mr. Olympia, Mr. USA, Nightmare Kenny Wayne, a great night of wrestling tonight at the Pascagoula National Guard Armory. Young Lynn Austin in the ring now with Mr. Olympia, backs him into the ropes. And, oh, a high backdrop. Austin backs up. It's on a list. Olympia tosses him over. He's on him. Puts his head into the turnbuckle. Tag to Mr. USA. USA in the ring now. Wound up for the big one. Oh, the bottom of the chin. And Austin goes down. What a giant of a man Mr. Olympia is. Got him backed in the corner. Kadaf is holding him in. Choking him. He's choking him there in the corner. They're messing with that mask a little, I guess, trying to... <laughs> they were trying to blind Mr. USA by messing with that mask a little there. Throws him into Mr. Olympia and a punch to the back of the head. I think it's safe to say that Lynn Austin's in a little daze. Oh, a high knee lift. Beautiful. Nobody does it better than Mr. Olympia. Elbow smash, cover, two, and a kick out. And he makes a tag to Killer Gaddafi. And Olympia's waiting for him. You great friends in Panama City, Florida, we're coming your way soon. We appreciate all the fan mail you're sending. Keep it coming. Let us know you're watching our show. Let us know what you like on the show. We enjoy hearing from you. And fans in Panama City will be there soon for a live wrestling show. Mr. USA in the ring now with Killer Gaddafi. Now this Gaddafi is not a man to mess with. He's a very powerful wrestler. And I think 
going into this match, Mr. USA and Mr. Olympia knew that. Because they, they, they come out firing. Well, they knew that he was the stronger man of the two. But they're opposing, so they're trying to break him down. Breaking down the hard hard part is breaking the man down. They're doing it, they're doing it right. And the fans getting behind this team of Olympia and USA chanting USA, USA. These two guys are just very popular everywhere we go throughout the Southeast. The fans get behind these guys 100%. He's twisting that arm. The fans say, break it off. Around again he goes. What excruciating pain on the face of Killer Gaddafi, and now a kick. Grabs that arm again and twists it again. Tagged to Mr. USA, and he kicks him there in the arm. Got that arm. Backs into the rope. Well, now Gaddafi there again. Well, he's got that mask moved again. What's going on here? They're trying they're trying to turn that mask on USA so he can't see. Oh. Forearm in the corner. Whoa! Big, big for him. Tag off to Lynn Austin. I don't think Mr. USA was aware that Lynn Austin did make the tag, however, he did. Oh! Off the second rope. Now, you fans in Pensacola, Florida, will be back at the Municipal Auditorium Sunday night, October 4th, with a big spectacular card. Olympia now has Austin a high back suplex and down. And down he went. Now a quick tag to Mr. USA again. There's a little kick for good measure. Back into the ropes, and there, Gaddafi's there. Well, they're... Tr He's trying to turn that mask again. What's going on with these guys trying to turn this mask? Well, he has the mask turned on Mr. USA, so Mr. USA can't see. Gaddafi's punching, but whoa! Wait a minute! It's Bob Sweetheart just pulled off the Mr. USA mask, and it's rocking and rolling, and hell's a popping in the ring now. Olympia, wow, and a power slam on Lynn Austin. Sweet Dan comes down with the big elbow. And three, ladies and gentlemen, what a victory. What a victory here. Mr. Olympia and Bob Sweet Dan, victors right here on World Organization Wrestling. World Organizational Wrestling with a hot night planned Saturday, September 26th, 8 p.m. at the Pascagoula, Mississippi National Guard Armory. It's a super main event four-man tag team match. The Wild Samoans, Prince Samu, and Coquina versus Mr. USA and Ricky Gibson. WOW United States Champion Bob Holly takes on the Nightmare, Kenny Wayne. The Coastal Connection, Chuck Wilson and David Baxter versus Wild Man Don Fargo and Crazy Mike Diamond. Marvelous Marcel Pringle versus Cowboy Dennis Gale, plus other great matches on this card. It's wow action at its best. Don't miss it. And I know you're all excited tonight, Pascagoula, Mississippi, Nightmare Kenny Wayne. You're coming to town, and you're taking on the very dangerous Bob Holly. Taking on Bob Holly. You know, it seems Bob Holly, Bob Holly has had a turn for the worse, it seems like. Well, you know you're strutting that belt around. The only way you can keep it around your waist is with somebody in your corner or by not putting it up. But won't you sometime down the road, you won't put it up in Pascagoula, but maybe the next time we're in Pascagoula, he'll put it up. Because I'm going to show everybody down there in Pascagoula that I can beat him. And here they are, girls, the Coastal Connection, and they'll be in town tonight. Get your tickets early. We're going to sell it out, I'm sure. And I know you all are excited about coming to town, but you gotta, you got to do your duty. You're going in the ring against that idiot Don Fargo and Mike Diamond. Uh, Fargo and Diamond, uh, Fargo, you must be a manager, whatever you think you are now, against Bob Holly, this man. I tell you what. He's going to win, and the Coastal Connection, we're going to be there. All the fans are going to be behind us, and we're going to win. And that's all there is to it. Okay, Chuck, you got anything to say right away? Oh, yeah, we're looking forward to coming to Pascagoula and seeing all the ladies and the beaches down there and everything. But right here, Don Fargo and his men, we are going to take care of you, gentlemen. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, that's tonight, 8 o'clock, National Guard Armory, Nightmare Kenny Wayne, Coastal Connection. Don't you miss this exciting night of wrestling action. Welcome back, wrestling fans. And here you see in the ring, Wild Man Don Fargo 
with crazy Mike Diamond. And this place is going bananas. They hate this man so much. They, they, they hate this combination so much. And here his opponent for tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, this would be a main event anywhere in the country. Ricky Gibson takes on Mike Diamond right here today on television. And what a match this is going to be. I don't think the people want to take their eyes off of this match from, from the time the bell rings and time to finish. I think it's going to be action from one end of the ring to the other. You have two of the top wrestlers in the nation right now in the ring, Ricky Gibson and the crazy, and that's putting it mildly, crazy Mike Diamond. And needless to say, most people know this feud goes back quite a ways. These people, I think it'd be safe to say, hate each other's guts. Ricky Gibson has had a feud with both of these men for a long period of time. And I tell you, it, the outcome, no one can predict it. No one. These fans are on Fargo. I've never seen a man create more havoc, more problems, just by standing at ringside than this. He, they call him Wild Man Don Fargo. I have other, other names I think that I'd use, but this man is just a, an absolute lunatic. He's a running machine all the time, all the time going, talking all the time. And now you notice he's, he's coaching crazy Mike Diamond. Again, Gibson is wanting Don Fargo just as much as, as he wants uh, uh, the crazy man. This, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a great match. And they lock up. Gibson backs Diamond into the ropes. Whoa, and a slap. And a slap, and Diamond goes over to confer a little with his manager i'd say mr fargo referees warning gibson that let's have a clean break here lock up again diamond goes down gibson right on top of his man a great great technical wrestler this ricky gibson another man's held held major championships all over the country well, if you notice Ricky Gibson, the whole time he's wrestling the, the crazy man, now he's got his eye on that wild man, Don Fargo. See, that's the thing about having a match like this. You could almost have, have to call it a handicap match because Ricky, while he's wrestling Diamond in the ring, has to keep, you know, in the back of his mind, Fargo is outside that ring. And as you know, as I know, Fargo, you know, out there is just going to add that little extra leverage of danger. And it's not beyond Fargo to ever interfere in a match, of course. Well, now, Don Fargo says he never interferes with a match, but uh, I think from time to time... Count of two there. Game. Count of two there, and Diamond bails out. Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming to Op Alabama, a card I'm real excited about. A big outdoor show at Chanel Lee Stadium in Op Alabama on Monday night, October 12th. Don't forget that. All our great fans up in Op on Monday night, October 12th, a great card at Chanel Lee Stadium in Op, Alabama. Diamond's back in the ring, and the fans are on Diamond, bald-headed geek. Fargo trying to tell him to shut up. Ricky gets him. Good, good headlock. Takes him over. Good luck. Good luck for taking him over. Power slam. Power. Seems every time, every time that Gibson makes a move, oh, Fargo has to complain that he's pulling hair or trunk. The referee knows better, I believe, but you still got that third element outside that ring. And again, you watch. He's watching Don Fargo. He's got his eye on him all the time. And actually, I think he's waiting and hoping that Don Fargo does try to do something so he can retaliate. And it gives me great pleasure to say another packed house here at the studio here on Porter Street Arena in Pensacola, Florida, the home of World Organization Wrestling. Gibson goes back into the ropes, crossover, comes up, whoa, and he reverses the hip toss. And Diamond bails out again. Diamond bails out again. I could tell them one thing. If Fargo and Diamond thought they were going to come out and that Gibson was going to be in an, an, an easy target, they're crazy. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm watching this match real close right now. Don Fargo is instructing Crazy Man every move that he makes. I don't think that the crazy man really needs the instruction from Don Fargo, and it might be a handicap to him. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that, Gino. I don't know what Fargo, if he's trying to form an army or what Fargo's objective is here. He's, he's, I have to say, he's twisted the mind of young Bob Holly, a great wrestler, and I hate to see that. And I've noticed Fargo talking to Marcel Pringle before, and 
And I don't know, something's up in Fargo's mind. He, he's out to do something. And I just haven't decided, you know, what it is he's doing. But I'm sure we'll find out in weeks to come or who knows when. Well, one thing for sure, he does definitely have something on his mind. There, Diamond has Gibson in a headlock. Referee staying on top of the action. There's Fargo again trying to get the referee's attention. He's a master at distracting that referee. Simon Clamps there. Gibson's coming out of it. Coming out of it. There, I think he's got him, got him. No, and he pulls hair. Diamond pulls Gibson's hair back in. But Gibson's having none of that. A punch to the gut and a high knee left, and Diamond goes down now into the ropes. Oh, a high drop kick that missed. Now Diamond's all over Gibson. Kick. Four or five kicks, picking Gibson up. A hard elbow to the back of the neck. And a punch. I got to give Diamond credit. He's a tough individual. I'll give him that. A punch to the side. A push to the side of the head. And another one. Into the turnbuckle. Diamond has Gibson. Oh. And Gibson's fighting back. He's fighting back. Bunch of Diamond goes down. Diamond goes down and Gibson goes for the cover. Count of two. Count of two. Gibson grabs it back in the ropes. In, up, and over. Here comes Gibson. Wait a minute. Fargo tripped him. Fargo tripped him there. Everybody here seen it. I know the fans at home used it. Fargo reached in and, and tripped Gibson. He went down hard. But it still wasn't enough to beat him, Mr. Fargo. And Gibson kicks out. And Diamond right back on him. Backs into the ropes. Count of two. Count of two. Now, wait a minute. Fargo's up on the, on the ring apron. Ring apron. Here comes Bob Holly. What's Holly doing out here? Wait a minute. He throws Diamond into Fargo. One, two, three. One, two, three, Ricky Gibson's the winner. A pinfall win right here on television for Ricky Gibson, your winner here. Fargo's up on the ring apron, screaming, so Gibson gone out to Fargo, and Diamond hits him from behind. Elbows, now Fargo and Bob Holly are going into the ring, and Diamond is holding Ricky Gibson. What's going on here? Fargo's telling Holly to hit him, slug him, He's instructing every, Holly's every move here. What's going on here? He hit him, he's got brass knuckles. Holly's got brass knuckles on that hand, and he just hit Ricky Gibson. Oh, Ricky Gibson's bleeding. He's bleeding like crazy, and Holly's hitting him with them brass knuckles while Diamond holds him. Gibson's there, he's a bloody mess. Wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Bob Holly. Bob Holly, Don Fargo, and, and this idiot Diamond are in the ring. Here come a couple referees to try to get him off. Try to get him back off the young Ricky Gibson. Oh! He's blood from head to toe. What's gotten into this Holly? He come out here with brass knucks on Fargo's instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, let's break away from this. Let's break away from this. World Organizational Wrestling is on the road. Tuesday night, October 13th in the Monroe County Coliseum in Monroeville, Alabama. Monday night, October 12th in the Chanel Lee Stadium in Up. Saturday night, October 10th, Evergreen High School Gymnasium in Evergreen, Alabama. Friday night, October 9th, the Community Building in Daleville, Alabama. WOW heats up. Sunday night, October 4th at the Pensacola Municipal Auditorium. Saturday night, October 3rd in the Bayou Levantry Community Center. And then Saturday night, September 26th, the Pascagoula, Mississippi National Guard Armory heats up with wow action. America has plenty of rear-engine riding mowers, yet one is America's number one choice, Snapper. Number one because of superior performance. Number one because of low maintenance. Number one because more Americans buy Snapper than any other brand of rear-engine rider. Join the millions of satisfied users who have made Snapper America's number one choice. At Barnett's Lawn Equipment, we carry a complete line of Snapper equipment. See us at the corner of Nine and a Half Mile Road and Old Palafox. Here with a special TV offer of famous fan of Agatha Christie. I'm Vincent Price, and I have a book for you. 
It is perhaps the most spellbinding mystery ever written. An astonishing tale by that unchallenged queen of mystery, Agatha Christie. Murder on the Orient Express. This book is one of her best, one of my personal favorites, and yours to enjoy free for 15 days as your introduction to a publishing triumph. The only complete Agatha Christie mystery collection. Dazzling labyrinths of deceit, intrigue, detection. Imagine the hours of pleasure you could spend in the arms of a good mystery, in the company of some of the most delightful characters in literature. Jane Marple, uncanny. Hercule Poirot, brilliant. Join these delicious detectives of crime to relish the well-laced clues. Weigh the evidence. Unveil the villain. Accept Murder on the Orient Express, then volume by volume your library bills. Each book is designed to last for generations, hardbound in plush, Sussex blue with elegant end papers. Books you and your family will love to own. And then to make it irresistible, we will also send along free, and then there were none, to add to your first volume in this collection. A rich enjoyment for years to come. Call this number to receive Murder on the Orient Express, your first volume in the Agatha Christie collection, free for 15 days. Keep it for only $9.95 and receive future volumes about once a month for free examination at the same low price. There's never a minimum of books to buy and you may cancel at any time. If you choose not to keep Murder on the Orient Express, return it. And then there were none is yours free no matter what you decide. Call 1-800-228-6565 for your free gift in your first volume. I urge you to call now. Nights at 9 on WPMI TV 15. Planned Saturday, September 26th, 8 p.m. at the Pascagoula, Mississippi National Guard Armory. It's a super main event four-man tag team match. The Wild Simons, Prince Samu, and Coquina versus Mr. USA and Ricky Gibson. WOW United States champion Bob Holly takes on the nightmare, Kenny Wayne. The Coastal Connection, Chuck Wilson and David Baxter versus Wild Man Don Fargo and Crazy Mike Diamond. Marvelous Marcel Pringle versus Cowboy Dennis Gale. Plus other great matches on this card. It's wow action at its best. Don't miss it. And ladies and gentlemen, I have with me now Bob Sweetan. And Bob, I know you're anxious to get to Pascagoula tonight, but I know you got a lot of things on your mind. The one thing about it, the fans out there are sitting and wondering if Ricky Gibson's going to be there. Let me assure you, from the bottom of my heart, Ricky Gibson will be there. He'll have a few marks on his face. He might not fe be feeling too good, but Ricky Gibson's got a lot of guts, a lot of intestinal fortitude. He's not a quitter, never has been, never will be. Fargo? You started something. You bit off a little bit more than you can chew. I don't care how many people you've got in your corner, how many people you've got back in you. You've got Holly, you've got Gaddafi, you've got Crazy Mike Diamond and probably Pringle, too. But let me tell you something, Fargo. You can't get enough people around you. You can't get a big enough a cushion to keep Gibson away from you because this man is angry. He's disgusted and he's hurt. And when you hurt somebody like Gibson, they're not going to stop and there's no way they're going to stop. I want all you people past school to know one thing. Ricky Gibson be my corner. We've got a tough night. We've got the Samoans. They're big, they're rough, they're tough, they're quick. They can do it all. It's one of the best tag teams I've seen in a long time, and I've been around this sport a long time. And it's going to be hard. But I'll tell you what, Ricky, Ricky Gibson's got a big heart. I've got a lot of heart. And with you people out there, all of you out there behind us, 100% cheering us on, there's no way that Ricky Gibson and myself are going to lose. Samoans, you're going down. Pascagoula tonight. Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and here we'll have our TV title match. Marcel Pringer will defend against the nightmare, Kenny Wayne. Kenny Wayne entering the ring now. One of the most popular wrestlers to come along in a long time, ladies and gentlemen. Kenny Wayne is no stranger to professional wrestling. One of the very famous nightmares. And marvelous Marcel Pringle defending his TV title right here tonight with TV time remaining, Gino. I'll tell you what, if there's ever been a great match, this is going to be it. 
it seems today on wrestling, every match has been a main event caliber match. That's why I love commentating for World Organization Wrestling. Every match is a top caliber match. It's a great professional wrestling match, and I know it's what the fans want to see. Look in the ring now, you have two of the best, Kenny Wayne and Marcel Pringle. Kenny Wayne going after that TV title, a title he wants real bad. Goes in the ropes and off, and Pringle goes down. Another cover. Kenny Wayne's trying to get that quick pin, and he's got Marcel dazzled. Marcel's asking what's going on. Kenny Wayne come out of firing like I've never seen anybody come out. Well, these fans love the nightmare. Kenny Wayne, this is for the TV title, a title Marcel has had quite a while and defended all across the Southeast very successfully. Yes, and he don't want to lose that title. I'll tell you what, wrestling fans watching it on TV right now, they may be sitting there and they're watching and enjoying it, but it's nothing like coming out to watch World Organization Wrestling when it's on the road. Speaking of going on the road, we want to welcome a new television affiliate, WXVT Channel 15 in Greenville, Mississippi. Welcome you to the World Organization Wrestling Network, and we hope to see you great fans up there in Greenville real soon. Kenny Wayne up. He's got Marcel dazzled. He really does. I don't know if Marcel took him a little too lightly or what coming into this match, but Kenny Wayne has a great reputation. Once again, a former title holder all across the country. Well, Kenny Wayne is one person that he doesn't want to underestimate. Or mess with either. Oh, through bring it in. Oh, and Kenny Wayne misses. Kenny Wayne misses and Pringle right there on top of him, stomping, kicking. Oh, Kenny Wayne took a big slam in the knee. Cover, walk two. You're not going to beat Kenny Wayne that way. Picks him up by the hair, backs into the ropes. Throws him in, comes up, misses with an elbow. Kenny Wayne, a high flying press. Two, Marcel kicks up. What a great action-packed match. And ladies and gentlemen, tonight in Pascagoula, these two great athletes, they'll be there along with a host of other great wrestlers. So the box office opens in Pascagoula at the National Guard Armory at 5.30. Get your tickets early, ladies and gentlemen. Great night of wrestling. Pascagoula, Mississippi, National Guard Armory tonight. And Marcel Pringle now getting the upper edge on Nightmare Kenny Wayne, choking him on the top rope, referee counting. Kenny Wayne a little dazed, but he's far from out of this one. Pringle throws him into the ropes. Oh! A big knee to the midsection, and Kenny Wayne just doubles over. Pringle backs the rope, down with a splash, cover, one, two. Wayne kicks out. You're seeing, ladies and gentlemen, great, great professional wrestling action in the ring. Hey, Kenny Wayne grabs him there, but, but they're in the ropes. They're in the ropes. Referee makes a break. Kenny Wayne thought he had a three count there for a second. Oh, a big punch to the face. Now Marcel, what an unorthodox wrestler he is. He just goes out there and plays, tries to kick you and beat you and stomp you to death. Well, I think Marcel Pringle has come to the realization that Kenny Wayne wants that TV title. That's marvelous, Marcel Pringle, which he, he wants to be called, and one of, probably one of the most hated wrestlers all over this area. A kick to the midsection by Pringle. Backs Wayne in, and oh. Big shoulder splash to the midsection. Two, three. Grabs Wayne. Wayne reverses and in goes Pringle into the corner. Kenny Wayne grabbed that little bit of fire. Get a little breather there. Pringle's coming after him though. This Pringle is, what a crazy looking individual when he's in that ring. Marcel Pringle has realized that he's close to losing his belt and he's in there going just as hard as he can. He knows that Kenny Wayne is competition against him and he doesn't want to lose that belt. Hey, Pringle's made a lot of money off that TV championship title. He's held a lot of money. Goes the, Oh, and Kenny Wayne flies over. Oh, what a beautiful, spectacular move. Two, three. Wait a minute. We have a new champion. We have a new TV champion. Kenny Wayne has won the TV title. Right here, he just pinned Marcel Pringle. Now Pringle's up and on him. Up and on him. Throws him they're into the ropes. Wait a minute, the match is over. Referee signals, you ring the bell. 
Kenny Wayne's won the match. Kenny Wayne's the TV champion. And Pringle gives him a big knee drop, and Wayne goes through the rope. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Wayne has just won the TV title right here. Right here. Boy, what I, I don't I guess you call a mild upset, but Marcel Pringle's been to throne and Pringle is mad. He's hot. Oh, and what a powerful clothesline. A powerful clothesline by Marcel Pringle. And the belts there at ringside was just awarded to Kenny Wayne. And Pringle grabs the belt and goes to hit Kenny. He misses twice. Hits. He never connected. But Kenny Wayne is the new TV champion. Ladies and gentlemen, what a great hour of action we've seen here on World Organization Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. Crazy Mike Diamond getting pinned by Ricky Gibson and Bob Holly coming into the ring, taking brass knuckles, laying Gibson wide open. I've never seen so much blood on a television show before. Uh, Kenny Wayne's here at the podium. Wanted to know where his belt is. Kenny Wayne's the new TV title holder, but Marcel Pringle ran off with a belt. You've seen the wild Samoans, ladies and gentlemen. What a wild hour of action. And here the fans are saying, we want the belt. We want the belt. The marvelous Marcel Pringle walked off the set with it. We've seen Bob Holly. He seems like he's gone off the deep end, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next week with a great hour wrestling. Thanks for joining us. See you next week.